After you found out that your significant other is cheating on you, mm -hmm. one, sit down before your legs start sipping in weakness from your broken heart. The high expectations you put on that man now lay burden on your shoulders. Two, run. Run to your mother, to your grandmother, to your aunt. Run to the Amber or Akai. The thought of you not being able to stroll through his contact list should be a reminder of his chosen absence in your life to savor in it. Four, pull out the old pictures and videos and go down that painful memory of the life that have been miscarried in the womb of your misfortune. Remind yourself that that is the man he truly is. Five, after you scroll through Facebook and you scroll through Instagram, the name Michelle might pop up a couple of times. Remind yourself that the rage and anger you're simmering in is to burn off the impurities he might have left in you, so burn, baby. Burn that chaff away. Six, you will get drunk. You will be tempted to dial drunk him late in the night in between your sheets. Stop. You should have deleted his number in the first place. Send him a blues and to the sound of South soul love songs. You will shift your center to the position of lonely. You will find power in the rebound game. Pawn playing kings, knight playing queens, queen runs back to castle, bishop castles queens to pawn. And after the chase and game of lying yourself in empty shells of men's ego, you might find another king. And if he does what the last guy did, at least this time, you have a guide on how to bring a heartbreak. You lay in the face of obstruction and the glimmering lights have stopped beaconing and I, I have been holding these thoughts in my head for too long how to be real and I try so hard to relate to the pain that I don't even feel I forgot what makes the difference. And right about now every piece that I'm writing is garbage, no they won't snap at that, no they won't tweet my punchlines, hashtag I'm killing it. Uh -huh. I dive into this so intensely, so much so that I lose my authenticity. Now I used to write my poetry to channel my emotions, but right about now I'm just writing to keep time moving because I keep on being threatened by all these other rising stars and soon, soon, I'll be that washed up deadbeat poet who had it going but kind of lost it in this maze of ingenuity we call hype and self